Hi, I'm Ione Cranick, and I will be reading Sharing a Dream today. It's The Adventures of Buttons and Bow. It's written and written by Craig Powell and Ione Cranick, myself. I illustrate his books. Uh, we ha are self-published, so uh, I'd like to continue. This is the second book of The uh, Adventures of Buttons and Bow. It's a series of three. The, three is, the third one is yet to come. So we will start with Sharing a Dream. The Adventures of Buttons and Bow, Sharing a Dream, written by Craig Powell, illustrated by Ione Cranick. Sharing a Dream, written by Craig Powell, Prairie Shookin Specialist, and illustrated by Ione. Thank goodness for erasers, Cranick. This book is dedicated to our dear friend, Jean Bogner. And here we go again with a map. It's cold up here, quite unknown and unknown. It's a valuable geography lesson for curious dragons. We have no relation to Manitoba at all, but there's Flame Flon, The Paw, Lin Lin Lake, Win a Pig, Verdant and Porridge La Prairie, Lac de Bonnie. And then of course we have Reverse and the Plains of Desolation. Buttons and Bo have made some new friends. Susie the Prairie Shookin, Snoot the Pelican, and special twin flyers, Ada and Chloe. Next to a Prairie Shookin, the high-flying, fish-loving pelican is the epitome of fabulousness, says Susie. Thank you, my fine-feathered, freckle-backed friend, replied Snoot, and I'm Ada, and I'm Chloe. The sun has set in the north, and Buttons is warm and snug in her bed. Even the cover-tugging bed hogs are sleeping peacefully. Those are some mighty big zeds. You see the little cover-tugging bed hogs tucked in everywhere? In the south, Bo is also deep in big zed sleep. As Buttons and Bo sleep, they begin to share a dream. Wait a minute, how can Buttons and Bo share a dream? Let's ask Susie. I found this formula, I don't know what it means, but with the smallest possible change, I submit it as proof that in Dragonland, anything is possible. So there you have it, the Shookin has spoken. So if you divide by zero, you can do anything. We share dreams all the time, says Ada and Co Chloe. How to catch a cat. You set up a box and wait. Their dream begins with Bo telling a tale. Far, far away across a desolate plain, beyond a formidable wall, lies elephant land. Elephants. I like elephants. I think we should go there, said Buttons happily. With that, their journey begins. But first, a stop for, for, for provisions. Elephant Land is 320 kilometers away. Their boat is called the SS Sinks, Sinks a Lot. And this is the last stop for supplies at the general store with nothing specific. You'll need lots of stuff. We have high melting point chocolate, bottled sunshine and a sale on apples. This, per this wag little wagon is perfect. They're discussing their little red wagon. Nothing will stop them now, but everyone is a little afraid of what lies ahead, the plains of desolation. I wonder how desolate it will be, said Buttons. I wonder what desolate means, said Bo. However, the further the went, they went, the more they come to realize that the plains of desolation weren't desolate at all. It's so lovely, exclaimed Susie. 
I'm glad we came to see it for ourselves, replied Buttons. We really like it here, said the goose. It's our home, said the gander. You'll never guess what's, what's next, said the big moose. So there's our Canada geese and our moose and our good old Saskatchewan watermelon helmets. It's a little shopping oasis, the God at All Mall. We have the Tumblebug Jim, Jim's Bike Shop, XR750 parts galore, and now playing is how to train your people and the whatnot shop. Wow, so much to see. Soon Elephant Land came into view and the formidable wall wasn't as formidable as they had been told. In fact, and you can see that the gophers were able to go under it, the birds were able to fly over it, and there was a gate that said welcome, so it wasn't all that scary. A mammoth welcome awaited them. Welcome to friendly Elephant Land. In Elephant Land, our dream voyagers made many new friends. First was Donna. She knew what day was wash day and never went without a clean hanky. That's a big nose to blow, isn't it? Sudsy loved sharing his puddle. Shower time, everybody. Ellie was terribly nice, but a rampaging baby elephant just the same. Look at her play. She's just like us, said a cover-tugging bed hog. They're sleeping so peacefully. I wonder if they could be sharing a dream, too. Now's your, our chance. Let's paint hearts on them like we did on our butterflies, whispered Bo. Let's not, responded Buttons. They are perfect just the way they are. Buttons had an idea, and Mama Elephant agrees. A little friendly nail painting on big toes. Bo and Donna plant a tree together, and it's a friendship tree. Everyone is learning a lot. Facts about elephants. The prairie shook and Susie the prairie shook and is teaching again. They live in close family group, groups led by an older female. They flap their big ears to fan themselves. Their trunks are used to grasp things and to show affection. They communicate by trumpeting low rumbles chirps, and stomping their feet. They eat a lot, up to 300 kilograms a day. They have good memories, and baby elephants suck their trunks like human babies suck their thumbs. Morning is approaching, and it's time to hurry home. Roadside rosies line the gentle path and wish them for farewell. It's a dream. Just wake up, chirp Ada and Chloe. So they did, and each woke up to the calm tranquility of their Dragonland homes. Or did they? It looks pretty chaotic to me. Sharing a dream.